Uh, sup guys uh, in this tutorial we learn about strings uh, how are strings stored and how do we use them basically okay strings basically are uh, an, is an array of characters array of car okay also uh, they are terminated by, by a specific symbol or a specific character that is backslash o so i'll write this as terminating character so suppose i have a string like hello it will be stored in the memory something like this as a sequence of characters so i'll have h then i'll have e then i'll have uh, l then l uh, then oh and our terminating character so a backslash zero okay so this is how our st uh, string is stored in memory okay so now how do we define a string so as we know it is a sequence of characters or an array of characters we need to define a character array so i'll have char arr uh, of size hello is of size 5 plus a terminating character so i need a size 6 array will be equal to the way we used to initialize the array in for integers so since i have five elements as in sorry six elements okay six the first one would be h the second one would be e third one is l fourth one is l fifth one is o and the last one is a backslash zero okay in this way you can initialize your string or a character array also you can define a string without specifying uh, specifying the size of your character array something like this char arr of uh, uh, opening and closing uh, square brace and in and inside double quotes you will write h e l l o here you don't need to write a backslash uh, zero since your c compiler would automatically append a backslash of, uh, after your string in this case okay okay uh, uh let's try something in our code uh, i'll create a new file uh, i'll write my basic structure first hash include std io dot h int main okay and return zero i'll have two strings s1 and s2 so i need two character a suppose i have car s1 of car s1 and two uh, opening and closing curly brace i'll write here hello and my other string would be car s2 of this would be how are you okay so these are my two strings okay in c you have certain functions uh, for manipulating strings such as concatenating two strings or comparing two to strings okay so let's uh, try to concatenate these two strings as in s1 and s2 uh, i want to print i want i want a string uh, which would be the concatenation of uh, s1 and s2 that is suppose hello how are you in a string single string so how i have a function str uh, cat string concatenate s1 comma s2 so what would it do it would append s2 behind s1 and store it in s1 so i'll write here concatenate s1 and s2 and store in s1 okay so now let's print our string s1 i'll have a printf function percentage s comma s1 so i need to save my file i'll save it as okay string or strings also yeah one more thing uh, these functions that is str cat is included in my header file string dot h
okay so i'll just write here string contains string manipulation functions oh so let's now execute a file compile and run okay yeah hello how are you we are getting at a single string so in this way you can concatenate your string okay suppose i want the string uh, that is suppose a new string suppose s3 uh, that should be same as uh, s1 so in this case uh, what should i do i'll first define a string s3 okay and since now it's null as in it has no value so i'll give uh put it equal to a uh, opening and closing inverted quotes okay uh okay so now i want a string that should be equal to s1 so i need to store hello in s3 so how would i do that so i'll do str cpy as in string copy it's a function to copy uh, the string i'll have s3 comma s1 so what it does it uh, just copies s1 to s3 okay uh, so now okay i'll just comment this str concatenate function since we have seen it and now i'll print s3 uh, s3 so let's compile and run okay yeah hello so we just successfully com uh, copied the string s1 to s3 okay now uh, suppose i want to find the length of s1 as in uh, we know that uh, hello is of length 5 but suppose there is an unknown string whose length we don't know but we need to find it programmatically so how would we do that i have a function uh, strlen and it returns an integer so i'll have int len length okay is equal to str len of s1 so what it does it just returns length of s1 i'll just print here so it's an integer so i'll have percentage d and s1 okay uh, uh, it's throwing a garbage value uh yeah we actually want to print the length not the string so i'll have your len gts length uh compile and run yeah it's giving me phi so hello is of length phi uh, it's right uh there's another function uh compare as in to compare two strings okay so how does it work actually i'll just write that function first i'll put this in comment and str copy also in comment okay so is the the function name is str cmp string compare and suppose i want to compare s1 and s2 uh okay it may return a negative value or zero or a positive value suppose s1 and s2 are uh, both same string as in both are hello we'll get zero uh, but assume that s1 is of larger length or a bigger length than s2 then we get a positive value and if s1 is less than s2 we'll get a smaller value but it might happen that both are of the same length so the, actually the ascii values of the characters are uh, compared uh, actually let's try this out uh, you will understand it better okay i'll give it hello h e l l o okay s3 is hello so i'll compare s1 and s3 again it would return an integer so i have int suppose cmp compare okay s1 and s3 so we know that both the strings are now same s1 and s3 so we must get a zero here so let's see what we are getting it okay so let's say zero file compile and run yeah zero since both the strings were equal 
okay now suppose let's make this all in capital characters and let's execute our file okay we are getting as one so this we compared the string s1 and s3 so it just compared the ascii values of all the characters so uh, the difference would be one okay okay now let's compare s1 and s2 we know that s2 is a bigger string than s1 so i'll have s1 and s2 so let's see i hope we'll get a negative value yeah minus 1 so it's throwing a negative value so how did it work uh, what it did is it compared the ascii values of s1 and s2 and depending on the comparison or the difference uh, they threw a integer we won't go much deep into it uh, okay uh, there are two other functions in string uh, but uh, that involves the concept of pointers so we'll study them after we have done with pointers okay so yeah that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your su suggestions for our improvement thank you